अंडरस्टैंडिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ माउंटेन हिल माउंटेन रेंज माउंटेन सिस्टम कॉर्डिलेरास नो दीज आर सम ऑफ द कॉमन टर्म्स दैट यू हैव अ हर्ड अबाउट ऑफन बट यू आर ऑलवेज कन्फ्यूज टू एग्जैक्टली वॉट इट इज नाउ इफ आई सिंपली आस्क यू अर डेफिनेशन एक्सप्लेन माउंटेन यू माइट बी कन्फ्यूज यू माइट नॉट बी एबल टू गिव मी एन एग्जैक्ट आंसर एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो फॉर दैट आई हैव अ वेरी सिंपल सोल्यूशन हेयर इन द फर्स्ट सेक्शन वील अंडरस्टैंड a difference between a hill and a mountain what do i name a mountain as so a very simple definition is the base is much much broader as compared to the summit that means it has steep slopes now these slopes could be steep they could be further steeper or there could be less steepness in the slope that could be seen but the basic idea is the base has to be broader as compared to the summit so that is the very basic idea about understanding what a mountain is in british terminologies it is believed that if i say consider something as a mountain it should have an elevation of more than 600 meters that is equivalent to nearly 2000 feet so anything about 2000 feet would be considered as a mountain with broader base and smaller summit but in case the slopes are very steep understand it carefully in case the slopes are very very steep in that case i can reduce the 600 to 300 meters equivalent to nearly 1000 feet and that could be considered as a definition for mountain now we know what is mountain so we know what is hill anything which does not fulfill the criteria for a mountain would be termed as hill that means hill is technically much much smaller as compared to a mountain again in case of a mountain as you go higher the temperature drops down and you would have moisture laden winds that would be usually seen with the increase in the altitude also there would be a change in the zonation now this zonation would be for animals as well as plants that means the kind of the vegetation the kind of the wildlife that you are seeing in the lower layers as compared to higher altitudes would vary and that is again a very very important characteristic for a mountain so that is how we understand mountain and a hill again again 90% of the cases you won't find a single mountain there is no case where you would see a single mountain standing somewhere even if that is a case that could be due to probably a erosion a weathering or something like that so that means what actually happens is mountains are present in a line or a series and this series of mountain is known as mountain range now the important characteristic of mountain range is there is a structural uniformity uh there is a similar alignment that means if it is running north south it's not that uh, most of it is running north south and then suddenly you see uh, east west and then north south and then east west that's not the range okay so range probably has a similar alignment so all the mountains that are part of the range would have a similar alignment they would have a similar structure and there should also be similarity in the form form means the material so the sediments that are there or the composition the rock structure would be more or less the same so that is considered as a range now a very important concept when i have more than one ranges so let's say this is one of the ranges that i have drawn and let me bring in another color here and i have another range that i bring in here now when there are different ranges that are there these ranges are known as mountain chain so we understand a single mountain we understand a series of single mountain forming a range 
series of range forming a chain now a good example of mountain range would be in the case of india we would say ladakh range zanskar range are examples of mountain range okay so you have karakoram range ladakh range zanskar range uh, cascade range in case of united states so those are ranges now when these ranges unite you have a mountain chain or a mountain belt good example would be the himalayan mountain belt now it would include upper himalayas it would include middle himalayas it would include shivaliks so lower himalayas so this is a mountain belt or a mountain chain that is a very basic idea as to how we understand a range and a chain now mountain range usually have a origin at the same time so it's a it's a continuous origin at a same time a uh, time period in case of a geological time scale we are talking about and mountain range together forms a mountain chain so this mountain chain has the same orogeny what does we what do we mean by orogeny that means they are from the same period of mountain building process so once we talk about himalayan mountain system we know that it evolved from the gondwana land the angara land and the tethys river that was there and with the deposits being filled up at the tethys river you had the himalayan mountain system that developed so himalayan mountain system is an example of or the himalayan mountain belt or the himalayan mountain chain system is an example of the same orogeny that is the process of mountain building and that is known as orogenesis okay the next important thing that we understand is the concept of cordilleras now what are cordilleras when i say cordilleras these are the process where you have series of mountain chains that are together and when these series of mountain chains are seen together we call those as cordilleras now cordilleras can be seen in the west coast of united states which are named in the name of western cordilleras they are occidental oriental so these are what are cordilleras they are series of the mountain chains that are there so just a quick recap again single mountain we understood the definition difference between a mountain and a cordillera uh, sorry mountain and a hill then together when there are mountains in a proper alignment with a similar form and structure we call them as mountain range a set of mountain range is known as mountain chain and a set of mountain chain would be known as cordilleras and this is a very basic understanding of the terms here we would be covering many many interesting lectures in geomorphology and basic terminologies in ge uh, geography and geology stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead